Watertown City School Board member Millie Smith says there's been a long problem with drugs in school hallways, claiming they are sometimes sold in the hallways. It's part of why she ran for the board, and tonight we learn more about the problem, as she describes, and how Smith hopes a different approach can help fix the problem. Here's Sandy Torres. The weed problem is atrocious. Watertown City School District Board member Millie Smith says for years marijuana and vaping have roamed the halls of Watertown High School and Case Middle School. You can smell it on the clothes, you can smell it in the hallways. Um, so we've had some stories of kids saying that, you know, they're doing transactions. Smith says there's a line of communication between students, which is making it easier for them to access drugs and the transactions are being tracked down. Kids were saying that they have cryptic messaging on their Chromebooks. The school's in the process of collecting Chromebooks. Recently, the district installed vaping sensors to also help combat this drug issue. So what happens when a student is caught vaping or with weed? District officials say an educational punishment system is in place, meaning students undergo a process that's meant to teach them the negative side effects of drugs. Soon, students themselves through a student youth court will be able to decide on a punishment. For instance, an essay on the side effects of vaping. Smith says besides the youth court, other measures the district is implementing is a partnership with drug prevention and education group Pivot to create a safer learning environment. As a school board, we're addressing this in a positive manner. We need to look at options instead of kicking kids out to the street and suspending them. Smith hopes this alternate approach to dealing with the district's drug problem will bring down drug use by students. Sandy Torres, 7 News.